we are back. This is Matt. And this is Katie. And this is Movies and Mischief with Matt and Katie. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the Fun House. Uh, Katie and I have been watching movies together for almost 16 years now. And we love talking about the movies that we watch. And that's what we do on our channel. We watch a movie, we turn right around, and we give you our unprepared, unfiltered opinion of that film. If you're one of our regular viewers, thank you. We, <laughs> we appreciate the support. We've It feels like we've been away for a little while, which we actually it haven't, yeah. which is weird. We took last Saturday off because we went to Awesome Con here in D.C. and had a ton of fun with that. Um and I don't know, it just it's weird. It feels like we haven't done one of these in a while, but we really We have didn't. One. We we front loaded some before yeah. we left, but it yeah, because we didn't watch any last weekend, it yeah. does feel like we're feels off. weird. <laughs> feels weird. So, Katie, what did we watch this evening? Tonight's adventure was Coco, uh, which a lot of people have already seen. Somehow we managed to miss it, so we decided to watch it tonight. It is a story about Miguel. And his family, they are gearing up for the Dia de los de, 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 the Day of the Dead celebration. <laughs> Our apologies. <laughs> Sorry, that's a first for me. But anyway, um, so it's a it's this magical animated movie where for this one day a year, <coughs> the ancestors can come back to visit, and Coco is. A musician at heart, but because of Miguel, some, Miguel is a musician at heart. Coco is his grandmother. Mm -hmm. um, because of some family situation, music has been banned in his family for generations now, and he, through a little bit more magic, ends up on the wrong side of the bridge back to the between the worlds of the living and dead, and has to find his way home in more ways than one and mm -hmm. bring his family together in mm -hmm. more ways than one. Mm -hmm. I really messed that up. I'm very sorry. What did you think about this movie? <laughs> I loved it. I mean, you knew I would. Anything that has to do with music, I'm going to automatically enjoy it because I, music is a big part of my life. I loved it. This was a lot of fun. It had a lot of heart. The animation was really, really cool. I loved the visualization of the land of the dead with the skulls and, and the, it, this was just a lot of fun. The only thing that kind of shocked me was there wasn't more music. Like I was expecting musical numbers, kind of like what you get from yeah, Disney. You're but, expecting a musical. Yeah, but I guess... It's, it wasn't, I mean, I'm not complaining at all because the music that was in it, I absolutely loved, but I guess I was kind of expecting more of a musical right. kind of approach, right. more like a more traditional, <laughs> yeah, tr traditional Disney yeah. animation that yeah. I'm used to. So, but I really enjoyed this. One of the things that really impressed me, I don't know if you noticed, was in the sound design, specifically with the Hector character, when you always heard the bones kind of knocking together and jingling because in the land of the dead, they're all, they're all bones. They're all skeletons. They're not spooky skeletons. They're very decorative in all of the like makeup and tattoos. Because you they see. still have a full face. They all have yeah. the cheekbones and the bottom half. So it's not like the actual yeah. mandible of a skeleton. They still have. It's a, a full cartoony face. skeleton, but yeah. it was it was really cool. Yeah. So every time there was a lot of like movement going on, you heard what sounded like that old fashioned bones knocking Cast together. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it was just it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of heart. It, it just, from the beginning, it had me hooked, you know. And again, I mean, Disney Pixar, they have not really put out a bomb kind of movie so far. Everything I've watched from them, I've thoroughly enjoyed on some level for one reason or another. And this is just another one. Coco was great. Plus, it was great to see this kind of diversity in an animated film and see kind of an introduction to that, um, that world which is not something I'm very familiar with. I knew of the Day of the Dead, but I didn't really know the details the and the traditions that go along with it. So that was a lot of fun, and I hope we see more of that in films like this. So, Katie, what were your thoughts? We had a lot of that this year. We had a lot of kind of exploration of other cultures and religions 
I'm sorry. Is that a bad thing? Tradition. Are you complaining? No, traditions around death and dying and what comes after. No, yeah. it's been very interesting. Yeah. It, it's been a good. It's been a trip. I also love this. Uh, I thought this was super fun. I agree with you about the animation. Their their kind of spirit guide <clears throat> animals were off for me. It was weird that it was a different kind of animation than the rest. It, they were all very like neon and a different style of animation, which was cool. I and it think, still worked. Yeah, and I think that is kind of built off how the spirit animals are represented in artwork oh, for sure. and painting. For sure. Yeah. It, for sure. It, it was, was I agree with you. It was a little jarring at first, yeah. but I got used to it. But yeah, there were a lot of places where the animation was just gorgeous. They, I mean, no huge surprises in this. There's a little bit of a who is he, who is any, he, and they did trick us both in the beginning yeah. with something we thought was really obvious, and then it turned out yeah. we were wrong. Yeah, I was impressed um, with that. I was the like, voice acting minute. was great yeah. across the board. You've got um, Benjamin Brad as Ernesto, the... Luscious Gael Garcia Bernal was Hector. Um, she loves rubbing that into me. Well, How I'm sorry. How beautiful these, she thinks some of these people these are. Bo boys. Some of these other boys are. He's beautiful. <laughs> He's, He's a good looking dude. I'm yeah. not gonna, I can admit that. Yeah. Um, uh, Ana de la Reguera is, this is the third of her movies, even though you know we didn't actually see her. This is the third movie she's yeah. been in for us in the last few months. A lot of just really solid voice work mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. story and absolutely, yes, a lot of heart. The music was lovely. Just a really good, just a really good, solid story. Yeah. Um, it does deal with death and dying, so not for little littles probably, mm -hmm. not for anyone younger who's maybe lost somebody recently although it yeah. is a very there's one kind of disturbing idea the idea of being forgotten forever yeah but the rest of it is kind of this really lovely idea that your your family is always your family your people are always your people that yeah. was really yeah. really nice really I nice. really like that I really like that so did you have any final thoughts on this one? My final thoughts are do listen to your heart, but don't let what you want to do or be overshadow everything to the point that you lose yourself in it and you lose the people you love and the people who love you in pursuit of that. How about you? I just Music is life. I could not live my life without having music in it constantly, which sometimes drives her nuts, but music is life. There you go. Okay. All right, so those are our thoughts on Coco. Uh, as usual, please make sure that you subscribe to the channel, like the video, share the video, comment on the video, tell us if there's any older films out there you're interested on in our thoughts, if we've seen it we'll give you our thoughts anyways maybe we'll watch it again if we haven't seen it we'll watch it that's one of the things we love doing is catching up with movies we miss um, and with that being said i'm going to remind you guys to seek the positive in your life and we will see you guys next time bye